Well, hello and good morning. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm Sandy, um, Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in beautiful Canada, Ontario to be specific, and um, I'm so happy you joined me. So um, a little little update on my um, basement renovation. I have walls and a ceiling in my basement. Everything has been um, drywalled. They were so quick. It's like, and I went downstairs and checked it. It's, it's beautiful. But if you'll notice what you don't hear right now is you don't hear any noise because they're not here yet. So I'm kind of enjoying, um, kind of enjoying a little bit of nice and quiet in my house. Let me move a couple of things. Those are not for right now. Okay, so, mm, oh, before I forget, because my basement will be done in a few weeks, and then I go shopping and get all the things I need to, you know, like desk, uh, tables, chairs, all that, so I can have classes in my house. Remember to register early for my January um, birthday palooza class. Um, you'll find that on my blog, which is up above in the comments. So anyway, let's get to it. Uh, today we are using the Dashing Deer stamp set and the Detailed Deer dies along with some others and we'll get to those but um, let's not forget about the annual catalog and this is one of my favorites for making um, really pretty cards really pretty pretty cards so I'm gonna set those aside um, the other thing is I decided to use once again my go-to which is the uh, itty bitty Christmas hopefully there's no glare there for you um, itty bitty Christmas sentiments because well there's so many and they're so good so um i'm going to be using that christmas cheer and merry christmas and a happy new year all right so let's get started this particular we're going to start off with the stamparatus reason for that is i have the buffalo check stamp here which by the way you want to give a good clean when you're done especially if you've done what i did which was um over ink your memento so we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> we're going to see how this goes. This should be interesting. Um, it's kind of funny because the, the reinker wasn't, it wasn't like coming out. So I squeezed real hard. <laughs> Oops. Don't do that. Don't do what Sandy did. Okay. All right. So yeah, I made a, I made a big old mess. Had to clean my desk. Had to clean the stamparatus. Okay. I'm not that strong, okay? So anyway, so what I did is I already mounted the stamp. That's no biggie, I just put it on. And because I'm, I, I would be die cutting, um, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit crooked. So I, I was not concerned with that at all. So the first thing you wanna do, of course, is ink up your stamp. And then, and you like to put something like a stamp set underneath that gives it some, um, rather than, you know, being on a slant like this, it gives it something underneath there. All right, so I've already put my real red paper here and the magnets and just going to, it's kind of like kneading bread, you know? You ever made bread? My dad and I used to make bread. You know, the good old days, the, the times that you spent with uh, your parents that you might not have appreciated, but I loved that he made bread. And French bread was one of his, one of his specialties. I made cinnamon, cinnamon bread for a high school project. <laughs> I had to make two loaves, the teacher took one. I wondered why she wanted two. Hmm. Anyway, it was delicious. I just re-inked that because that's the beauty of the Stamparatus is that you can go back in and re-ink if you didn't get enough the first time or sometimes a second time. So I've already, I've already done this and die cut. So we're gonna pretend that looks beautiful because otherwise I'm gonna spend a lot of time um, doing that. So let's bring out the card. First things first, so let's put the lid back on. So, oh, we're getting inky already. Yeah, like over inked, big time. Over inked. I don't know if that's a word, but it is today. It sure is today. Alrighty. So, a little bit of uh, paper underneath and the card. So, started with the base of early espresso and uh, I will give you the measurements after the video it's your standard base uh, for this and the next card 
and um, just won't be right away because I have an appointment and then I'm I'm helping at a uh, at a card making class so I'll be gone this afternoon alrighty so early espresso base the layer is from the come together DSP now in case you missed that that's in the holiday catalog and I love this I've been waiting for an opportunity to use it so I've used it like three times um, like when I was prepping these cards <laughs> so there's three and the back of it is is kind of fall like so it was kind of in like what I'll call the fall section of the catalog all right and then liquid glue now you can use whatever he said you like this one I just opened so it's I didn't even have to squeeze that uh, it is full to the top Alrighty. Now, I like to line everything up. I've made a narrow border. I like to line up this edge, this edge, and this edge. And once I'm sure I'm there, I just drop the paper, and it's exactly where I want it to be. Alrighty, that was easy. Alrighty, the next thing. And I've gone ahead and done the die cutting. Oh, I should show you. I should show you. Isn't he cute? So that is the, um, that's the one of the dashing deer. And it is... Um, the lid back on that it's the um and it's been die cut now what i did is i wanted to have a shadow i think it, hopefully you can see that so what i did is a second layer um just straight basic black and i wanted to really show up actually the card goes this way so i should i should turn it i think it goes this way then i took the stitched nested labels i'm going to show you which one i believe it's what I like, I, I, I'm calling it the third largest, and, or is it the second largest? Oh darn, oops, messed that one up. Okay, I will fix that on my blog post coming out. Okay, the second largest of those. All right, <clears throat> and I also, um, I hope you can see that. I also went ahead and embossed it using the winter, na winter knit embossing folder. Okay, now, where did it go? Oh, did I lose a piece already? Did I lose a piece? Oh, no, I did not. In fact, I have more than one. In case you mess up, you know, do more than one. It, it's okay to do that. Oh, uh-oh. Did I, oh, I'm having a class and I have um, apparently packed away. Okay, well, we will improvise and use a different color. I needed real red, but... I have cherry cobbler handy. Real red's packed away and ready to go. And it's funny because I told myself last night, don't do that. All right, so it goes this way by the looks of things. Not that it matters, okay? All righty. So, oh, this is from the ornate labels. I should show you those too. In the holiday catalog. Eh. So it's this little one right here. And I love that it's got that little bit of stitching. And it's good that I looked at it because there actually is a right side and a wrong side. If you go like this, you can feel that there's um, um, an edge. Let's call it that. Also, I'm using this one right here on the next card. So I figure I'll show you, show you that right now. Okay, so let's see if I can stamp straight today. And if not, no worries. What I, oh, you know what I did? When I, when I stamped it originally, I put, in fact, I have something right here. I don't know about you, but stamping white on white, like this little white piece of paper on top of the grid paper, I couldn't, I couldn't see it that well. So I put a piece of, it was cardstock. This is the foam insert for the Stamparatus that you use when you're using photopolymer. Alrighty. And then just stamp it. Alrighty. And I don't need that stamp. Now the really good news is that when I prep cards, oh look, I've got one in the right color. <laughs> you would have to know I would do that. But for two reasons. One, not because I thought I was going to, I'm going to just do this. I'm going to move you for a second. There we go. Try to make that piece of paper stay put. Um, I wanted to make sure that I had one that was stamped straight. Because I'm actually a good... 10 inches away from where I was stamping. I'm leaning towards the, the desk, but uh, all right. So the next thing, anyway, I digress. Oh, I've already put the dimensionals on the back of this. So I believe, yep, that's what I was doing. Okay. 
so I really really love this is what I would call non-traditional like non-traditional Christmas paper but I think it's so pretty one thing that's really nice about this is that it's got the dots the dots can be help you line up what you're working on now I'm not going to say I'm going to be great at lining it up from side to side but definitely that direction beautiful all right a little bit of Tombow on the back I'm not popping this up because of the um antlers Oh yeah, don't squeeze this one's brand new. Just a little bit of little bit of glue up here. You really don't need a lot and you don't want it squishing out. It'll make the card look shiny. I can go that way. I'm just pushing the glue now because it's there's lots there. Alrighty. So and I wanted it to look like he was leaping. Because he's so happy that Christmas is coming. <laughs> Alright. And then where was I? Oh, I think I'll put it right there. Okay, so in that case, I have glue dots. And you know they're on the inside of the roll, so part of it's going to be off of here, so I only need a glue dot on this side. And then the dimensionals on the other side. Now, I have not been outside yet, but can I say when it's sunny? When it's sunny, as sunny as it is, it sure looks like it's going to be cold. And I have no time to shovel this morning before I, there we go, before I leave for my appointment. Hair first, you know, hair first. There we go. What do you think? Now, if you're watching live, I just have to fix something here on my computer. Ooh, memento. There we go. If you're watching live um, or even later, whether it be here on Facebook or on YouTube, uh, give me a link. A share, a comment, much appreciated. There we go. Did I do the inside? No, I did not do. Oh, you know why? I had the inside of this card done. I lost the entire card. It's here somewhere. I, I tore everything apart. No idea where it went. All right, card two. Let's continue. All righty. So we're switching up gears. It is the exact switching up gears with the color, not the base of the card. So I want to just show you. This is... This is versatile. So we're using similar items like the stitch nested labels. This time I have used the um, scripty folder and I, of course I have my glue dots or my not glue dots dimensionals on the back. I use the brightly gleaming paper and I die cut a different deer because as you saw in the um, when I showed you the dies at first there are two different large deers on there. And this time, oh, I can't turn it over because it's white. Um, I offset it and just pushed to one side with a piece of, um, well, I, I did it twice. Die cut the deer twice. The second time is in the copper, which I rather like. Alrighty, so I can, it's going to look something like that. Um, don't have it together yet. Yeah, we do need to stamp the sentiment. So this is that other die cut I was talking about for, from the ornament. That's wrong. The ornate frames. And you know me. Do you know what my favorite color is from of the new ink colors? It is, in fact, Pretty Peacock. Now, this one I don't want to stamp upside down, so I'm going to stamp it here first. Yep, that was upside down. It's always good to check these things. All right. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I hope I don't get my head in here or my fingers in the ink. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna set those aside and close this. Beautiful color, beautiful color. And I just happened to have one. I noticed there was some ink up here. It's just like a smudge, so I'm switching that out too. Alrighty, so I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna move you again, briefly. There we go. I love grid paper, but right now I don't need it. So first things first, once again, these are really, once you've got everything die cut, um, they're very, very easy. And this is the kind of card I believe you could make um, many of. So make the duplicates, make lots of them. Because for your paper, I want to make sure I, I do have that lined up. Um, for your paper, this is going to go a long way. It's a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And you will be fine. Absolutely fine. So 
here, 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 here. This one is slightly different in that the um, antlers aren't quite as, um, what would the word be? Scrolly? Off the, off the desk to get that. Alrighty. I basically just wanted to glam it up a little bit with the, uh, with this paper, which I love, 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 love. Now, I also have, oh, I know what I forgot on the first one. I, I forgot a couple things on the first one, actually. I also have these um, brightly gleaming foil elements. It comes in a package and there's lots of different shapes. I just thought this would be pretty on the card. I was also deciding where I was going to put this. So, got it. Blue dots and do I have a pair of scissors? I do have a pair of scissors. Almost done another one. It makes me happy to finish one of these. I know that sounds weird, but it really does to say that I used the whole sheet. And I really did. Oh, you can see where I... Yeah, I had to stamp that a few times because it. the important part when you are stamping, if you want to stamp straight, stamp... Um, put your stamp on straight. Turn it upside down. Look at the words. Put your grid paper underneath, and it really, really helps to get things straight. Before I put that on, I want to I can get two in one. I think I can. Yep. Yes, she can. And then one on this side to hold that. All right, so I'm using the glue dots on the back of the sentiment. The part that is above where I've raised up the first section. And then I'm going to add, come to Sandy. They're sticky, they stick, which is what we want. And up just a little bit. Eh, there we go. Like, how easy was that? How easy was that? Now, this one I do have the insects. I didn't lose this card. There we go. This is from, uh oh, did I forget what set it from? I did not. Oh, I packed it. Darn it. Did I write it down? I believe this is from the Snow Globes. I believe that's what it's called. So there's that one. And I have to bring back the other card because you know what I forgot to do? Oh my gosh, I have the real red. Oh, I didn't pack it away. <sighs> Sometimes, honestly, you know, I humor myself big time. This one, not this one, needs a bow. So it's just bunny ears looped over. If it was a bunny ears, Let's do that again. Okay, so bunny ears. I usually start with a bigger bow and then make it smaller, but no way. This will this will work. Come on. It's not like I've never made a bow before. I think I'm grabbing the wrong part. There we go. I was, <laughs> it helps if you grab the right part. I want the bow really small because he, he's not a big deer. Well, I mean, he would be in real life, obviously. Obviously. No, oh, there we go. And I did say this is from Itty Bitty Christmas, and that one is as well. I just wanted to remind myself that I did say that. Not the sharpest scissors. I was uh, going through some... Well, I took all my scissors and put them into my containers for today, for the class. And then realized I didn't have any, and then found those and went, yay. So it's going to be a fun class, and I'm really looking forward to it. I will have pictures for you, um, likely tomorrow, because I don't expect to be home terribly early <laughs> this evening. And it's out of town, so a bit of a drive. Not huge. There we go. For some reason, I had these out, and I was thinking, I wonder where I was going to put these. But you know what? I don't think I'm going to use them. These are the Holiday Rhinestone Jewels. And I was thinking I was going to use these, but I honestly, with these dots here, I think that less is more. There we go, my friends. There are our cards for today. Let me know what you think. Yeah, little fuzzies from, from the uh, linen thread. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I will be back again next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Uh, share, subscribe, comment, give me a thumbs up, a like. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and I will see you. Have a great rest of the week.